see me? Mm -hmm. Alright, hello everybody. This is Jackie. I'm here to talk about my first ever video for Estonia. Tell me. Uh, I just wanted to, to tell you, uh, talk to you guys today about some of my symptoms, some of the things that have been going on in my life. Uh, I was diagnosed with Estonia about two years ago, roughly. Uh, I've been suffering dystonia for about eight years. Um, normally what I suffer from is uh, called dystonic storms, basically where most of the day, most of the time, I can wander around and look, uh, and look perfectly normal. I, I don't suffer any uh, symptoms other than pain and mild muscle spasms that really are unseen to the eye. Uh, but uh, when a dystonic storm occurs, usually I end up in severe muscle spasms that are uncontrollable. Mine only take over my right side so far, which I've actually been very grateful for. Uh, however, uh, recently we've been having some trouble. Uh, I didn't qualify for medical. I haven't had any medical for over a year and a half. It has made it really, really difficult to get treatment, see doctors, um, expenses have gone really high. A lot of you have probably wondered why you haven't seen a lot of me lately. It's because we can't always afford internet. We do have to cut off internet now and then along with some other, you know, luxuries throughout the year. Uh, I do have internet for now, so we'll see how long we can get a hold uh, to keep that going. Uh, because I really like talking with you guys, and I miss you guys. I know I know that uh, I really enjoy uh, talking to you. Uh, unfortunately, it also means that I have not always been able to get my meds. I have not always been able to treat myself uh, at home without the doctor. Even uh, last December, I suffered a really bad episode that rendered the entire right side still affected, which means that now, as you can see, uh, my hand is still twisted and curled up. My foot, I don't know if you can see that right now, my foot is still turned up. Let's see if I can pick it up for you. There we go. It is uh, turned almost exactly 90 degrees inward and completely on its side. So if I ever walk on it, as opposed to see me in a wheelchair right now, if I ever walk on my foot, I'm walking on the side of it. And that has been that way since December, since the really bad episode I had in December. Sometimes when I have episodes, you'll also see my shoulder and my hip move. What happens are the muscles in the right side of my back pull, and it pulls my shoulder and my hip together, and it brings them... It feels almost like somebody's trying to roll me into a breakfast croissant. Uh, my head gets pulled to the side. Sometimes you'll see facial movement. My eye will twitch and twitter. Uh, my ear wiggles, which I can't do on my own. Uh, it gets really difficult to maneuver, especially on bad days like that. Today, fortunately, is a good day. I'm not having any episodes so far, knock on wood. I really hate to have one of those right now. I thought I'd go ahead and show you some of the things that I can do. And I think the normal physical test, let's start with the first one. The first one would be to try to hold your arms out straight. Obviously, I'm having difficulty doing that. My hand twists and my elbow turns outward. And you're supposed to be able to turn your hands up and down, and I'd probably fail that test. You're also supposed to be able to touch your nose. It takes a little bit of effort, especially when your hand doesn't want to work. Uh, you should be able to stand up. Let me see if I can show you how to stand up. I hope you can see me right. I know the glare from the window. We've got rain coming in today, but this is how I normally would stand up. I know you see me in a wheelchair right now, and not uh, actually this wheelchair is new. Uh, I only use it around the house. If I ever, I'm still very independent, so if I ever go out or I have to do something and take the kids to school, I, I do still walk. When I do walk, I use this thing. This is my stick, a nice big stick. My dad got this for me at a local farmer's uh, retail store. Uh, not only is it good for holding me up on bad days, but uh, it's also good for beating people with. Uh, and actually, I'm just kidding about that. I've never used that thing to hit anyone purposefully ever. 
Uh, I am going to show you how I walk. So let me get over there. Unfortunately, my living room is way too small for me to show you how I walk. So I'm going to take you to another part of my house. Sorry about the moving. Let's see. Excuse me, baby. I have a very crowded house. I have two kids. And I need your backup, please. So I'm going to put you right here. That you are now in my dining room. You're looking down my hallway towards my bathroom. And I'm going to walk down that hallway for you and all the way back and show you how I walk. And here I go down the hallway towards the bathroom. show you those right now because they are all very messy and here I come I'm coming back I need you to move baby and get out of the camera way so that they can see me and as you can see my foot is still turned inward and I am walking on the side of it can be very difficult it's very painful on this hard floor there we go now I'm gonna take you back into the living room now I can sit down and relax. I can talk to you a little bit more. I learned how to go backwards in this wheelchair very quickly. It's actually the easiest thing I've ever done. Oops, I'm sorry, kitty. All right, well, there I am, back in my spot. Well, I guess that concludes my video for the day. Come here, baby. I know you were wanting to do this. That concludes my video for today. My very first ever video for Dystonia. This is my son, Philip. My four-year-old. Say hi, Philip. Hi. Say hi. Wave hi. Good boy. And I want you to say, I love you, American Dystonia Society. I love you, American Dystonia. Very cute. Thank you so much. Go ahead and sit down and watch TV. All right, well, I hope that all of you are having a very good day today. If you're not, my heart goes out to you. I hope that whatever pain you're going through today is short-lived, and I hope that tomorrow is a much better day. Uh, I love you guys. I'll see you as soon as I possibly can. Until then, take care, everybody, always.